Victory AI, an AI tool that allows you to create high quality videos with little to no effort. You can simply paste in a script and you can have a fully edited video with subtitles and custom voiceovers with barely any effort. You can also paste in a blog or an article and Pictory will create an engaging video based off anything you paste in. Pictory even have their own video editing software which gives you complete control in regards to editing and allows you to fine tune your video to anything you desire. On top of all that, they continue to release new tools which aim to assist your workflow, thus allowing you easily to create content quick and easy. Here's an example. Paris is a city of art, culture and romance. Visit the Eiffel Tower. Stroll through Montmartre. Again, all from one simple script. I'll now get into how you can do this yourself and show you the ins and outs of Pictory to really benefit from every feature Pictory have to offer. Starting off on the dashboard, if you don't have an account, there will be a link in the description which will give you a free trial for Pictory. And at the end of the video, I will give you a special code which can be used to save a lot of money on any plans Pictory have. So make sure to stick around. Clicking script to video will take you to the script editor. And then you can simply give your video a name and then paste in your script. So for today's example, I will be doing the top three places to travel. And then I'll go ahead and paste in a script like so. And before I do click proceed, I do want to go ahead and space this all out so it is easier for Pictory to go ahead and read. So there we go, I've now spaced it out. And then I can go ahead and click proceed. Then Pictory will go ahead and create a storyboard based off the script you have given it. Then you should be taken to the storyboard where as you can see there is quite a lot to go through. However, a lot of it is very simple and easy to understand. So starting off on the left here, we have our scenes and in each of the scenes is a part of your script. So as you can see for the first scene, it says welcome. And then the second scene, it says another part of the script. If we go through the scenes, they all have a different background based off the keyword that is most relevant within that scene. So for example here, the Eiffel Tower is considered to Pictory the most relevant within this scene. So it has a background of that. And that is for every single scene. So really you don't have to do too much here. You could arguably just go ahead and click download and you do have a video already made. However, I do highly recommend going through your video to make sure it is to your liking because there's a lot of things that you could change. So for example here, let's say I wasn't happy with the scene one background. What I can do is click on visuals and then I can go ahead and search for what type of image I would like that scene to have. So instead of having a background with a runway, I can change this to whatever I'd like. So let's say I wanted a background with a bunch of beautiful big mountains. I can go ahead and type in mountains. And then as you can see, it will bring up a bunch of different backgrounds which I can replace. So if I could go ahead and click on one of these like this one here, it will go ahead and replace that scene's background with whatever I chose. I can also choose between a static background or I can simply just upload my own and even go through my recents as well. Moving on to the text, what I can do is simply click the text on the scene and then I get a little bar up here with a bunch of different options allowing me to edit the text. It ranges from a lot of things such as changing the font, the font size, whether it's bold, capitalization, colors, shade, and even animation. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and change the highlight color to a different color from yellow. I can click the highlight color option and then go ahead and change it. So let's say I want that to red and change it like so. Again, going through all these, they are very self-explanatory. With the text animation, I can go ahead and add one. So if I hover over a certain animation, it will actually give you a preview of what it looks like. A lot of the animations are very clean. So I definitely recommend choosing between one of these. And I can also choose to do the same for the exit of the animation. So if I go ahead and click exit, I can do the same thing. What I can also do is choose to save this as a style so I can implement this to other scenes or I can choose to go ahead and apply this to all of my scenes so I don't have to individually click on every single scene and reapply the same style here. So that's a really cool feature, which of course will save you a lot of time. So once you click apply all, now if I go to the other scenes, as you can see, they all have the same style applied. Moving on to the audio of the clip, I can choose to add background music and an AI voiceover. So because I do have a paid plan, I do have a lot more tracks than the free plan. So for my case, I do have 15,000 different tracks. And that's the same for the voiceover as well. I do get premium voices, which are by 11 Labs, so they are very good quality. Everything's pretty easy here. You can choose the mood, purpose, genre, and the duration of the background music, and you can preview it as well. 
And that's the same with the voiceover. I can choose the language that the voiceover will speak in, the accent, age, purpose, and the gender as well. As you can see, there's plenty of different languages you can choose between here. And then once you do choose one, it will automatically read out your subtitles. So instead of having to write out a script for your AI voice, Pictory automatically synchronizes it for your video which again saves so much time. Moving on to the styles area, again, as I explained before, you can choose between different text styles. So if you weren't interested in creating your own, you can go through their current library, which have plenty of different options. And as well, if you did save any of your styles or created any, you can go to my styles area and again, apply this to any of your scenes. The text area is simple. You can add a heading, a subheading, or a body of text. Do keep in mind that if you do add any of these text boxes, the AI voiceover will not read them. It will only read the subtitles. You can also create your own brand. So as it says here, you can stay on brand with one click. You can set logos, fonts, and more to jumpstart your next project. It is very simple. You can go ahead and click create a brand, and then you can go ahead and fill out some basic information such as your brand name, brand logo, brand colors, and the brand font. Once you do create that, you can go ahead and apply that to your script to video. Then there is elements, which I don't find too useful. However, it is something nice to have. So as you can see, you can add different shapes and elements to your video. You can also choose to add stickers as well as different GIFs, and you can even choose to add emojis. And then finally, you can choose the format of your video. So you can change it from 16 by nine, which is landscape to a nine by 16, which is portrait. There you go. So this can be for Instagram or TikTok and even YouTube shorts. And then we have the one by one square, which is really good for Instagram posts. And at the top, you can choose between your video resolution. However, if you do have a free plan, you are stuck on 720p. If you did have a paid, you will be able to go to the 1080p option. And then before wrapping up on the script to video, you can do some basic commands such as removing a scene. So let's say for example, within scene three here, it just has a dot, which of course I do not want in my video. What I can do is click the scene and just simply click delete scene like so and it will go ahead and remove it. And then in the bottom area here, you can treat this like a timeline. In between each of the scenes is a little square which you can click on to add a transition between each of the scenes. So if I click this, I can add a transition between my scenes. I do like clean transitions, so I will go ahead and use the fade transition. And instead of going through each of these transitional areas, I can go ahead and hover over the area that I did add a transition and choose to apply it to the entire video or remove it or entirely remove all the transitions that I've added. Very simple stuff for the script editor, but highly effective, allowing you to create quick and easy content. Being on a free plan can have its limits. However, if you were to choose an actual plan with Pictory, the sky is the limit regards to how creative you do want to get with your project. And let's assume you were happy with your script to video, you can go ahead and choose to preview it. And after that, you can go ahead and click download. It will then start to render all your scenes and everything that you have done to your script to video. And then of course, once it is ready, you will be able to download your video. Moving on to blog to video, I can go ahead and click this and then enter a URL from an article or a blog. So I went ahead and grabbed a random travel blog. I'll then go ahead and paste it and then I can click generate video. Then it will go ahead and summarize your article into a very nice script. So instead of adding the whole entire article, it summarizes the key points of that article and puts it into a script, allowing your script to be a lot more engaging. It has now created a script based off the blog or article that I have pasted in. Rather than overloading the video with a lot of different information, it's picked the key points of the article. What I can choose to do is go ahead and click next. And then just like the script to video, it is now gonna go ahead and create a storyboard where it allows you to do the exact same process that we did with the script to video. Again, I can go through all the scenes, change the background, the text, add my own audio, and even an AI voiceover or even my own. And just like before, once you do fine tune and edit your blog to video, you can go ahead and download it. Moving on to edit videos with AI, I can choose to add captions and branding to your video recordings, remove filler words and silences, and create a video summary which in return, Pictory will give me a bunch of different short clips which I can use to upload. So once clicked, I can go ahead and drag and drop a file in this area here. So I will add a random video. I can then click proceed. And then once it has uploaded, as you can see, I can go ahead and now edit everything to my liking. 
Personally, I don't like to edit in this area. I do like to go in the top right and click customize video. And then I'm taken to the storyboard once again, where I can do the same editing just like before. And once you are happy with your video, you can go ahead and click it download. And then lastly, we have visuals to videos. What I can do is click this and drag in a bunch of different photos, which will then turn it into a cool slideshow. So what I can do is drag and drop a bunch of different files that I'd like to have in a slideshow. And then after doing so, you can go to as many as you want for this example i'm only going to be using three i can then click proceed and just like every other example it takes me to the storyboard again where i can do the same process of editing so to summarize picture is a great tool which will allow you to turn really anything into a nice and well edited video it saves you the time from having to add your own subtitles synchronize different voiceovers and probably the most important part is getting the actual clips for the video which again you don't have to do with Pictory. They use Storyblocks and Eleven Labs to make your video stand out from other different AI videos so you can definitely expect quality when it comes to Pictory. So before I do end the video I will go ahead and show you the plans that Pictory does have to offer. Now if you did sign up through my link you should have a free trial however once that does end you will have to upgrade. Now in the top left there should be an upgrade option however if there is not you can simply click your profile and then go ahead and click my subscription and then as shown there is four plans you can choose between there is the starter plan professional teams and enterprise now currently i am using the professional plan and i have been using it for years i'll definitely recommend if you had to choose between any of these plans choose the professional considering that you do get the most out of this plan and as i said earlier at the start of this video i will now show you a special code that you can use to save a lot of money on a pick three plan so let's say for example you were interested in the starter plan i can go ahead and click buy now and then in the coupon code area, you can go ahead and type in the code coupon 20 as shown and then click apply. And then as you can see from originally $228 per year, it is now gone down to $182 per year, saving you a total of $45.60, which is a really nice discount. And of course, the higher the plan costs, the more you will save. So then if you were still happy with your plan, you can go ahead and click proceed. So hopefully you found use within my Pictory AI video. I will continue to make content on Pictory because they do seem to update a lot and add a lot of different features. So definitely expect more Pictory videos in the future. And apart from that, thanks for watching my video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.